He ended up getting Sebastian Vettel knocked out of Q1 as a result of it. Yeah, well, it was following the flat rake concept of the 2019 Mercedes, and it seems like the low rake concept cars have been hurt the most by this change. Yeah, a bit unfortunate, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I reckon if uh, Vettel hadn't been fucked over by the yellows, then he probably would have, at the very least, have got to a rough area of, to where Stroll was at the end of Q3 or Q2 even. Yeah, that 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 was a bit of a, niche, a mistake from uh, Perez. Day. like he should have realised that those mediums were fucked. Yes, yeah, so yes, he would have taken the best out of those medium tyres on the deleted lap run, so... Well, I thought, I thought, I, th I thought he, uh... Okay, never mind. I, I thought he'd used his, uh... I thought he did uh, basically both his laps on the same set of mediums. At least that's what the commentators said is, so... I still need to go and watch back the bit where fucking David Coulthard apparently got slapped in the face with a fucking pie or something. Apparently Verstappen slapped Coulthard in the face with a pie, so... <laughs> oh, I I had already turned off Sky Sports at that point and missed it because I had to fucking turn on for the uh, fucking uh, RPL quality for uh, F2. Yeah, of course Channel 4 would cut out the bit where fucking their, one of their lead commentators gets fucking slapped in the face with a cake. <sighs> yeah, otherwise we'll find that. Otherwise, Dan will wake up. I owe how much to fucking Rupert Murdoch? <sighs> <laughs>
Oh god, Matty Gallagher is already fucking baiting folks saying saying, so we gonna talk about that Red Bull number two seat yet? Yeah, I know, but it's a bit harsh to judge after one botched qualifying. Exactly. Exactly. Perez has Perez has only driven, I think, Ferrari in the V8 era because he had that with Sauber, uh, Mercedes in the V8 era with m that one year at McLaren, and then basically nothing but Mercedes engines with Racing Point during the hybrid era. So, like, to get within three-tenths of uh, fucking uh, Verstappen, uh, at least in Q2, in a completely new car with a completely new... So, like, yeah, getting within three-tenths of Verstappen in Q2, right, in a completely new car with a completely different aero package to what he's used to, with a completely different power unit to what he's used to, I think he did all right. Exactly. He, 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 like, with Racing Point, he's always had that, like, low rake concept as well. And obviously the Red Bull has very good, like, downforce levels yeah, well last year's racing point had a low rate because it was based on uh, the 19 mercedes yeah <laughs> but yeah um the, the thing he's not used going to be used to is the amount of grip that the red bull has always had pretty good downforce levels compared to racing point at least uh and also the fact that he's racing with an engine uh, that he's never used before with honda Exactly. Yeah, plus Perez is extremely good on tyre management. I mean, look when he was at uh, Racing Point, when at least when Ocon was there. Like, it, like I think Ocon more often than not out qualified him, if I remember correctly. Is the Renault a high rake concept, uh, or... Yeah, so that's probably why the Renault has, uh, or the Alpine, I should say, has gone backwards then. Correct me if I'm wrong, the first time that Mercedes have failed to get pole at the opening race of the season in the hybrid era. Like, Ferrari did that at Australia in 2017 and 18, but I don't think they got pole there. And bearing in mind that Verstappen did that with some sort of floor damage as well, so...
One thing I will, it's highly unlikely that what I'm going to say is going to happen, but what like, can you imagine the scenes, right, if McLaren was to finish ahead of Mercedes in the Constructors this year? That would then ask a lot of questions about whether it's just in. Yeah, that Alpha Tauri, despite the livery being an absolute wank, it does look pretty solid. The nose is different. The nose is very different. The, the uh, Alpha Tauri nose has gone back to a similar design to what they had in 2017 when they were Toro Rosso. Exactly, like all the times where Red Bull started c c crying, saying that they were going to leave F1. Well, not really, because at least I'm fucking honest about how shit Ferrari have been. Yeah, well, to be fair, Michael Schumacher, you can't deny, is an extremely talented and one of the all-time greats. You can't deny that. Well, you know, I have to sort of change it now that Hamilton's equaled his title tally, don't I? So... Yeah, but as my as Michael Schumacher himself has always said, records are there to be broken. Ah, oh, fuck! I've got to save my setup that Dan gave me. Fuck. What was it? One seven one six, yeah. For the suspension, yeah. I think everything else is pretty much the same as what I've already had. Dry qu oh, wet start to the race. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Only slightly, but still. Yeah. Oh, wow! Oh dear. I'm going to go out on some hard tyres just now on uh, low fuel, I mean high fuel, uh, just to get a feel for how the car is at, uh, towards the start in case the rain stops within like the first. What have they done? They've forced fucking manual gears on.
Huh? They've restricted it to medium, but it's not like anyone would actually use full traction, but that's beside the point. It wasn't manual last week either, so they, they've totally fucked it up. Fuck that one up. No, I haven't actually checked yet. I'm just going into the pits just now. I'm going to have a little look. Yeah, I'm just going to go and message him just now, man.
I'll check the Discord. Gone to the home screen, so either his F1 has dashboarded him or something else. It says that Dan's. In, oh, wait, no, it doesn't. That's just the game lying or Xbox lying saying that Dan was in the fucking. Uh, something else. Oh, well. I got on provisional poll doing 15 threes on softs when we would be pretty much getting that uh, on fucking mediums in our practice. He just messaged me back, Dan, saying, like what? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I've responded with, so. <sighs> I'll be a noob, but I'm still fucking faster than him. <laughs> Is he actually like forced on like ERS assist or something or no, it's not? Was he? Oh fucking hell, I didn't know that. <laughs> And it is me fucking pressing why like a fucking cunt, you know? Ooh. Hello?
I think I know what he's done. He's got confused with manual race starts and manual gears. As I heard him say, manual... I've heard, I heard, I specifically heard him say manual race starts. He's got confused between manual race starts, I think, and fucking manual gears. <laughs> That's what he, Dan. If he, if that's what he's got confused with, I'm going to have to try so hard not to piss myself laughing. Exactly. That's what I'm going to have to try not to piss myself laughing because <laughs> I don't want to sound like a cunt. It's just like that's the sort of mistake you'd expect me to make, and I've never made that mistake. We are going to restart the lobby. Um, he's he's just in the middle of typing, so I'll just hang for. Give mods a min to set it up. Oh, so yeah, it looks like someone else is now being the host. Mods SC boy. I don't know his actual game attack, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, Right, I'll just join off with you then, I suppose. Well, I found uh, mods on the friends list anyway, so recently played, I mean, so I'll just add them there. And then I can just join off his profile, can I? Or maybe not.
It would be great as if he actually set the lobby to join a ball, but oh well. Danielle Broccoli has gone back to the home screen. Oh boy. As we got a great big convoy, do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, we're here. Oh, yeah, cheers, man. Uh, could you tell mods to like make the lobby joinable because it won't let me join off of his profile just now man oh thank you Because it was restricted to medium, mate. <laughs> No, I think, like, basically, if someone restricts it to, say, like, medium, you then have to switch it off again by yourself, manually. <laughs> oh, dear. I haven't done hungry for a while myself, to be fair, man. Oh, Ducky's become Dutch, has he? Okay. Have you? I think this is the first time I've been in the lobby with you for ages, though, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Remember when Max Verstappen made his debut? Oh, you've been kicked. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> No, you can't. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Remember when Verstappen made his debut in F1 and they accidentally put the Russian flag next to his fucking name? Oh, that's a good fart. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Oh, he's restarting the lobby because he kicked you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. And now I've got to go and join off of his profile again. <laughs> Yeah, he's left to start another lobby up so they can get Ducky in. <laughs> oh dear. I need to I can't join off of his profile at the moment, so Oh lovely. It says that make sure you're signed into a, an Xbox Live profile and your connection is okay. <laughs> Well, were you... <laughs> like the American police force, eh? Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> Uh, I don't mind whatever, whatever uh, everyone else does. Is there more than 16 people in that party though? Because I think Xbox parties are restricted to 16 people, so... <laughs> Right to you. Uh, so what are we doing? Are we joining their party or what? I was just thinking the. I was just saying the. I was just thinking the same thing about not joining, but then I just. I was. I was just trying to be too polite to say no. <laughs> People shouting and hollering and everything. <laughs> yeah, most of the people in this league are American, I think, mate. <laughs> Is that us readying up now, or I think it might be? Yeah, it is. Fire up. Firebird back yet, or <laughs> I 
Oh, they do need to add that map back to fucking Black Ops, man. I dare you to do the fucking two-stop and start on soft stocky. I dare you. <laughs> 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 oh man lucky man see if you win doing a fucking two stop if I ever meet you I am buying you a fucking pint <laughs> well no because he he can't start on the mediums because he went softer on his tyre scale oh it's doing that glitch again. Okay. There we go. Sometimes there's a glitch with the game where if I, I need to fucking press the home button uh, or, you know, the Xbox button and then back out of it again uh, just to fucking get it to say that I'm ready to fucking race. So. Half hour practice was pretty much pointless, e.g. non-fucking existent. The one thing I do worry about in this league though is who am I sharing the pit box with this week? <laughs> exactly. Oh god, they made it wet, wet, then... Uh they made the wet period even longer than what it was on the original one. Fucking hell. Well, if it's going to fucking piss it down, you may as well fucking go out on the softs. Once pals and gravy. Who am I? Is that your car I'm sharing the garage with, Dan? I'll, I'll look to the left. I'll look to the left, so... I could see someone's car and it was sort of like a bluey yellow sort of um, uh, mixture of colours with satellite written on the side of the uh, front wing. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, definitely wasn't you I'm sharing the garage with then. where Dan ends up bottoming out and been in it like I did at Silverstone last week. Of course it is.
23 at the moment, although I suspect it won't be that way for much longer. Yep, and there you go, P4 now. Yellow car in the gravel, who's that? A body that I know. E5 now. Fucking hell, Dan. You need to calm down. We all know that Doc is ahead of Dan. What is the actual delta difference between fucking softs and mediums here when they're both fresh? Okay, so yeah, maybe you do need to get good if Dan's got that close to you. What well, the delta or the difference between you and Dan? <laughs> Yeah, so you need to get good, because technically, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, because technically on uh, the Delta, Dan is technically three, three tenths ahead of you or something like that. I know that I have a team because I looked over to the left and I did see a car in there when I first spawned in, so... Did I just cut off?
Very scruffy final set to though. Uh. Definitely a lot of room for improvement there. Don't question whatever that was on my stream if you're still watching. But did you see that car that overtook me? The worst lag I've ever fucking seen. There is that. To be fair, though, the the Mexicans that I've raced against in my time have some. M most of them have had decent internet. So basically, everyone that basically is Pablo Escobar in themselves. So did I say that out loud? I think I did that, didn't I? Now I've just got to put on a fresh set of tyres and then wait a little bit before heading out again. Any more fuel I can strip out of this bastard? Nope, that's it. Yeah, or just go standard on the outlap because I always put it in lean on the outlap, so... I want to see who I'm sharing the garage with now. Who am I sharing the garage with? No, it's not him. Not him. Not him. Not him. I think I'm sharing with PWW Adolf. At least I think that's how you say his name. I don't know if that is actually how you say his name. Okay, but fair enough. <laughs> He's modelled it up so that he can get away with it. On an interesting livery design, at least. With never know. There's someone in the lobby called McDaddy. <laughs> Mr. Long Lady McDaddy. <laughs> Are we seriously stereotyping this right now? <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Which point do I start heading out? Or is it about now or? I 
I'm just meaning like for optimum track conditions and all that, you know. Yeah. What are you saying about two minute fifty and then nurse it round or? It's probably more effect. It's probably more effective in full quality than it is uh, on short. I'm going to head out now and just nurse it around, I think. So I don't take too much out of the tyres. I think my previous two laps I did, I was a bit too quick on the out lap. And then, as Tom suggested, move up the engine mode by a click compared to normal. And I could get rid of some of the excess fuel. You coming up behind me at turn two, Dan. Okay. You want a lap or? Tenth improvement and it only gained me one place. I think that's the best ever lap I've even done around Hungary before. I don't think I've ever done anything uh, quicker than that time that I've just done, at least in multiplayer. Oh, yeah, exactly. I don't think I've ever got that far into the 114s to be fair. I think my previous best around here in multiplayer game mode at least not um like uh not not in multiplayer cars but specifically but like in actual multiplayer with the league race and i think the best i've done is a 14.7 or a 14.8 before so definitely a lot of improvement there still not enough to be challenging for the top though
<laughs> Eight tenths off pole though, that's not bad by my usual shit standards. Uh, making slow but steady progress in the right direction. That's been patched. I need an invite into the lobby, I think. I'll get an invite. Fuck's sake. There we go. It always does. The issue I've got though is it's not going to allow me to fucking remove my fuel, my excess fuel to... The annoying bit here though is, is I can't exactly fucking uh, remove all the excess fuel that I don't need. Oh lovely. What's it saying in the fucking discord? That'll be your giveaway. Yeah, I'm back in. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. It's just a case of I won't be able to actually take control of anything until after the five lights have gone out and it's take actually taken my car halfway down the straight. So no OP start for me today. Then saying that, even if I did have an OP start, it's nowhere near as effective as when I fucking get OP starts in the dry, so... Spectator mode. I won't let me take control just yet. I'm 
entirely sure what my AI is doing, but oh well. annoying bit about being booted out is, is that I don't know the full forecast for the race so <laughs> yeah but at least it at least it would have given me a rough idea of what to expect you know me DNF because I uh, bottomed out going through the old first corner with a substantially way too low a ride height. <laughs> I can't tell you anything about my tyre attempts because it still hasn't let me take control yet, so... Was in midnight. hasn't even let me take control yet. I've got control! Whoa! I saw that as well. It clipped me as well, apparently. Somehow got zero damage out of that. Don't ask me how, just please don't. Because they're American, they watch the, their form of motorsports that don't allow wet weather driving. I like look at NASCAR. As soon as a fucking light sprinkle of rain comes along, they decide to fucking cancel the race. Americans don't know how to do wet weather driving. The end. that I got no front wing damage when that fucking uh, Thor guy chipped off across the front of me like he did.
Sometimes you've just got a lick to stamp and send it, you know? So I just now. I physically can't see what lap I'm on because I just realised that my Twitch overlay is covering... Uh... See what lap we're on. <laughs> oh Jeff just said to me, I think we're on the right tyres for the time being. Exactly. is drying out quite soon apparently make sure you don't burn out your tires McDaddy going into turn one, I don't care. I'm going for it. Uh, yeah, scratch that. Just pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> Sorry, is Ducky just sent it?
Fucking go on, Duckmeister. Oh, that's so cute. Three laps. That's one. On lap 5, I don't think the hards would make it that far either, to be fair. 30 laps or so on hards. already see the dry line emerging. Five. Just can't get close enough to have a go on Mac Daddy at the moment, and he's holding me up quite badly. Oh, 
if his car was to remove itself from being in front of me, I know I could probably go quite a bit quicker than this. Exactly. Just the fucking dirty air just means that I can't get close enough to actually have a go. closest I've been to him uh, to have a go all racing this is still ain't fucking close enough to be actually make a justifiable overtaking attempt I know Fuck it. Of course not.
gained one position because McDaddy fucking binned it. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, him. Get what? Oh, wow. Saying that though, any more of these fucking safety cars and you never know. final corner. Sorry, who's got to drive through? Is he the leader or? Fucking hell.
That guy in the lead, was he the one that was in third place before you and the other guy pitted, or...? Okay, right, yeah. yeah and he's still on mediums, isn't he? Yeah, so I'll basically... So basically, I've... Yes, basically, I've jumped him in terms of, like, actual track position then, because of the fact that it, if... I've still got to obviously pit again, so... Therefore, with him having a drive through and having to pit again, I've now jumped him, effectively. It's three laps from when the first green flag sort of drops, basically. No, you can't... No, no. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been DSQ'd by now, because obviously you can't serve it under a safety car. <laughs> From the from the end of the first full green flag lap, basically. Yeah, he probably just wants to stick with you because he knows, he, like, he doesn't know what the strats are, and he knows that you know what you're doing, basically. <laughs> No, but he's probably heard of you. He, he, he's probably heard of you from other people, you know? Yeah, it's coming in now. Not dirty, just more selfish. It's probably the better way of putting it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Especially against folk like these lot who don't quite seem to know exactly what they're doing. Uh, what's that fucking auto spin, Andrew? Fucking hell. <laughs> And I think someone has done just that behind us, Dan, because look, yellow flags.
Apparently <laughs> a new strategy is available on the MFD. Let's have a look at what this has to say. Uh, thanks, but um, no thanks, Jeff. Trying. A set of mediums should be able to go from like 21, 22 I.
Oh. Could be a safety car. Or maybe not. I'm innocent, I didn't do anything. Thomas. Thomas, tell me to just back me up and prove that I was innocent, would you? Yeah, the cars have too much downforce, so you're basically using more uh, of like the lifting coast. Well, not lifting coast, but like, you know, lifting off for some of the corners rather than actually braking.
Yeah, basically, last year's Mercedes was Mercedes' version of uh, Ferrari's F2004 in terms of dominance. So this year will be the, potentially their version of the F2005 in terms of uh, being absolutely fucking shit. Yeah, but the problem with the Mercedes, though, is it's always been designed to basically, you know, just, like, lead at the front and, like, fuck off in clean air. It's never been designed to run in traffic. And to be fair, unlike the regular or the usual go-to for a season opener, Bahrain is actually a proper purpose-built racetrack where Australia isn't. But then if the Red Bull's strong at Bahrain, why weren't they up there in 2017 and 18? Well, in 2017 and 18, they didn't. Basically like what they did with Ferrari in 2005 when they basically changed the rules so that you couldn't change your tyres and they made the diffuser smaller if I remember correctly as well and basically as a result Ferrari was nerfed and uh, Renault and McLaren were your championship contenders for that season. I think the Ferrari on the twisty tracks was quicker in 17, but on the power tracks, the Mercedes clearly had an advantage because the 2017 uh, Mercedes had a far better engine than the Ferrari. Oh, absolutely. At least in the first half, but then Ferrari obviously went a bit shit on their development rate compared to the Mercedes, and then the Mercedes ended up catching up.
Was there an offside in the build-up, maybe? P8. I'm on the arse of, like, P7, but I've just hit that window where the dirty airs just slowed my progress down quite a bit. But I'm still catching P6, though, weirdly, and he's got more penalties than me. Yeah. I'm behind the guy who had the drive-through on medium, so and he hasn't pitted since he served that drive-through, so his tyres have got to be coming towards the end as well, surely. looking at my tyres I'm on 28 at the rear and 33 at the front and so like I know for a fact that this guy that had the drive through he's got to be close to that guy that you're talking about as well because he went on the same tyres as he did mediums and all that so and he never pitted after serving the drive through so so yeah his tyres have got to be coming towards the cliffs shortly as well so Like I said, I'm still catching up on P6 and he's got more penalties than me. So I could probably still get P6 here if I can just keep on closing at the rate I am. Because I need to get within three seconds of him to do that. Yeah, oh, I fucking lost the rear there. This guy in front of me doesn't actually blow up his tyres from uh, not pitting again. I will be amazed. annoying especially now that I've got within the pen window of the guy in six was the seventh place dude not blown up his tires yet
I'm two tenths off that as well. At least I finally got points in this league. Probably not the best I could have done, though, unfortunately. Do you know what's next on the calendar, Dan, or...? Yeah. Yes! Why not win at Spa, mate, but I'll fucking get a podium at least. He of little faith.